Okay, so this is uh, the second part of the video to show how I did the wiring. So this is my son's Dune Racer. Um, there's the regular battery in the back. Um, I'll explain what these guys are. Uh, but I also have another battery in the front compartment because I did a 24 volt uh, conversion. And this is the wiring for the uh, wireless uh, kill switch. Um, so this is the actual um, wireless relay. This is just a regular relay. And the reason why it's here is because this can handle the amperage of um, the car, whereas this cannot. So the sole purpose of the um, wireless relay is to control this guy. Um, and here I just have some terminals to help me with the, um, you know, connect the wires um, and um, makes, th make, makes things easier that way. And this toggle switch, the reason why I put it here, so when I first did the relay, um, I realized that even when the car is not running, this guy draws a little bit of um, energy and over time it kills your battery. So with the toggle switch in place, I kind of labeled, I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but this side says relay and this side says car. And what that means is when, you know, my son is done playing with the car and I want to charge it, I just do this and I can plug it in and it charges and the relays are completely disabled. Uh, and when, you know, we're going out and I want to be able to stop him. I go to relay mode and the switch will work. And if I don't want anything at all to be this enabled, I just leave it in the middle so everything is off. Um, so, yeah, that's how it looks like in the car. Um, you know, it's nice in there. You can't even tell. So let me show you guys the wiring. Um, so here it is. So um, the battery in the back of the car the battery in the front of the car this is that regular relay this is the RF relay and you know that's uh, black red yellow and blue and this is just showing that when the um, the relay is off this terminal and this terminal are connected with each other and when it's on this terminal and this terminal are connected with each other. And here for the toggle switch, when you go to the left, the two terminals on the right connect. And when you go to the right, the two terminals on the left connect. Um, so, you know, if you follow the path here, let's, let's just say that right now the toggle switch is set to car mode. So let's try to follow the path of the electricity. So you go here. You go here, these guys are going to be connected because they connect across. So we're going here, back there, back to the positive terminal, up here. Now remember, we're in car mode, so we're going this way, back down here. And now when the relay is off, this guy is connected with this guy. So we're pretty much going here and then back to the car so there is no relay in the picture right now if we switch to relay mode again we start from here go down here down here over here and now instead of going this way we're going this way so now we're here and remember in order for these two to be connected this relay needs to be on so the moment you push the button to activate this guy, these two connect and the electricity is able to flow to the car. Um, so, yeah, this is the wiring. Um, you know, you can pause the video and kind of try to follow um, these parts with the little loops. I, I hope it's clear like these wires are not connected. You're just jumping over because it's hard to draw like same here. Um, this here is literally saying there is a connection from the large terminal to the little small terminal. 
Um, these are like the big screws in this relay and these are the little screws um, and uh, let me show that just to be clear so this is what I mean like these are the the large screws and these are the little guys right um, so yeah there is a connection between the little guys here so this side is connected with that side um, and I can't think of anything else that would be confusing some of you might be able to get away without using this part um, I found it helpful you know in order to be able to connect as an example the RF relay uh, to the positive side there um, but yeah I hope this helps if you guys have any questions let me know I'll try to answer um, anything I get and um, I guess the last thing is if you don't have you know two 12 volt batteries the idea is the same um, obviously you're just using two terminals instead of four terminals um, you know if needed I can I can try to make a, a diagram of that also let me know all right again thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy bye